welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever since I've posted on my channel, but I'm bringing something good to you today. I am showing you guys my apartment today. Um, I moved into my new apartment um, probably like three or four weeks ago, and I just kind of want to show it off because I love it. Um, it's mostly decorated and I have most of the piece of furniture that I really want. So I'm hoping to get back into recording again and posting more things to my YouTube channel because I'm now like in my own space and I'm happy and everything's going great. So maybe I will feel like filming more often. I think my hair is probably a little different than what it was when I last recorded my videos, but but yeah, if you guys want to see anything specific, let me know. Um, and if you haven't been to my channel before, hi, my name is Jules and I live in Ann Arbor, Michigan now. Well, actually technically Ipsy, but. So if you really want to see how I'm living my best life in my brand new apartment all by myself, go ahead and keep on watching. So this is the view when like right when you walk in the front door, and like I said, my apartment's pretty small, but like I said, it's just me and Bailey, so everything's fine. Bailey always making herself comfortable on our huge couch. Um, I'll talk about that in just a second, but I just want to go over here real quick. So I just have like a place to hang my bag and then this letter board. I just changed this yesterday and um, I'm gonna try to change it every month. We'll see how this goes, but um, this is the quote I have on it right now. And I feel like it's very appropriate for what's going on in my life right now. Um, so then we'll start over here. Um, and I'll go ahead and tell you guys like where I get most of my stuff. I think that letter board I got at Target was like on clearance like last year. Um, but, um, have like command hooks freaking everywhere. Um, so I have Bailey's leash and keys and stuff like that. Um, this plant stand I got at an antique store. It was actually in Waco. Um, it's one of the um, antique stores that Joanna Gaines goes to. I don't know, I just thought it was cool. So I got that and then the pot is from Home Goods. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right now, all of the pots that I have all my plants in are from Home Goods. I think that they have the best deals and I really like concrete. So um, as an accent with like all of my decor, so all of my plant, things are from home goods. Um, I've had my TV for about a year and a half now. I've got that at Best Buy, no shock there. Um, the TV stand I got from Wayfair, um, definitely had to build it myself. It took so long. I think it took me like almost two hours to build that thing and I did it all by myself. So I'm super proud. Um, then I just have, you know, like some little decor items down there. Most of those are stuff that I've gotten at thrift stores or antique malls. Um, you'll find that my style is very much, um, kind of, I like old things. I don't really know it. I wouldn't say that my style is like vintage or anything, but I just like getting old things, especially old glass things. So I have just like a ton of those things. The little, I don't even know what to call it, like the little metal crate thing, I don't know. But I love that, I've had that for, gosh, probably almost 10 years now. So then I have this like little wax warmer. It's really cute. It doesn't look like a wax warmer to me per se. And it's a little elephant. I think my grandma got that for me for Christmas. Um, then I have my most well-behaved fiddle leaf fig right here. This one has these three leaves right here. It's grown since we moved in here because I mean, hello, we have this huge window and they like light. Um, so I think it's actually starting to grow a brand new leaf too. So I'm really happy that this one's doing so well. I have two other ones, they are not doing so well. Then right over here we have like some not so exciting things. I mean, Bailey thinks it's exciting, but all of her toys are right here. And I have one of two water bowls for her. Um, I don't know, I just had to, might as well put one near where her toys are. Um, and then we have my Roomba that my mom graciously gifted to me. Um, and then I'll just kind of do an overview of this porch. Um, I don't really have anything exciting. I have a basil plant and like an ivy plant that I just potted like two days ago. Um, and two chairs that I'm planning on getting rid of. Whatever, we're not gonna spend too much time on it because, ew. Um, all right, so. Over here, coffee table. I got this coffee table at um, 
like off the Facebook marketplace. I think I only paid like $15 for it. It's black, it's metal, it has a glass top. That's all I wanted. And it's a great size, especially for this nine foot long couch. I think it fits really well. I initially wanted a round table, but it just doesn't really make sense with the space that I have here. And I have this metal box that I got, I think at the same place I got that plant stand, the um, antique mall, I got a bunch of stuff there. Uh, and then there's, I have like my coasters in there, this mason jar, because I'm obsessed with mason jars, I collect them. And then this salt rock thing, it's kind of pink, but anyway, it's for a tea light, but it so happens to fit my remote. So I decided to stick that in there and I, I don't know, I just, I like to know where my remote is all the time. So that's a great spot for it. And then down here, down here I have this random box. I don't know, I felt like without it here, it just kind of looked like super blank and I didn't really like that. I mean, I would have loved to have had a coffee table that had like another shelf down at the bottom so that way I could like put stuff to display but this box is fine it's kind of random here but I don't really mind it it is a box that I got at a garage sale for like a couple dollars um, it's an old ammo box that's really all I know that's what they told me I don't know what any of the sayings mean or like any of the words or numbers I don't know what any of that means but that's that there's nothing exciting in there. I just have like some storage, like fabric swatch from the couch. Nothing exciting. All right, I'll talk about this couch because this is obviously my favorite piece. My mom has a couch pretty much identical to this. I think mine might actually be a little bit larger. I could be wrong, but like I said, it's a nine foot long couch. It fits several people to sit on the couch, although really it's only been me sitting on this couch lately. Um, but I got it from Wayfair. I got it for a really good deal, honestly. Um, it's a really high quality couch. I love it. Um, <laughs> where Bailey is sitting right now, I actually spilled an entire cup of coffee. Yes, it was Bailey's fault because she kicked me, but it's fine. Um, but it was nice because the uh, couch cushions are removable. So it was a lot easier to clean than it would have been if they were not removable. So that was a, a big important thing for me when I was looking for couches that the couch cushions were removable, like the, um, you know, that you could like remove the outside of the couch cover to like wash it or whatever. So that was really nice. Um, I have some pillows on here. I, I'm living by myself for the first time ever. So I'm like really excited to be super girly with like everything. So I have um, two pink mohair pillows that I got it at home. Um, this one, I think I got it like, I don't know, Sears or something. I don't know. I feel like it was at an outlet mall. I was there with my best friend, bought it, thought it was cute, whatever. Um, this pillow I got from Hobby Lobby. The a pillow case is from Hobby Lobby at least. And then this pillow is from Thailand. Um, it used to be a lot prettier before I had a dog that chewed it up but it's water under the bridge. It's fine. I like the way it looks. It's pink, has a little bit of pink in it, so it kind of matches, but it is the most colorful pillow that I have. Actually, really the most colorful uh, decor item I have in my entire apartment, but I love it. And it has an elephant on it, which I love elephants. This is Bailey's blanket, by the way. Bailey got this blanket for Christmas last year, and for me, of course and no one else is allowed to use this blanket. So I always make sure that it's on the couch because Bailey obviously loves to lay on this couch. Um, so it's just always here for her to lay on. It is super soft, she loves it. By the way, I'm so sorry that it's like kind of gloomy. Um, it's not the best lighting for this, but um, it looks like it's gonna rain outside. So I just wanted to go ahead and apologize for that. Okay, so now over here, I have my poor fiddly fig, it is really going through it. I uh, had a really bad experience um, on the deck at my Nana's house where I was living before and we're just trying to get it into recovery. Um, so this one's going through the struggle bus right now, but everything's fine. Uh, I also have, well, this is kind of like my plant corner in the living room. I have a Hoya plant right here that's hanging from the blind thing. I don't know. Um, I have this print right here. I got this print from Ikea. It was like in a pack of four. It actually came with this one and then one that's in the, ba the bathroom and then another one that I didn't really like so I didn't frame it. This ladder. I love this ladder. I have had this ladder for probably about five years now, maybe longer. 
Um, got it at a flea market in Canton, Texas. I initially got it to be um, something to like hold blankets. It works fine for that, I guess that's why I have one blanket there, but um, when I was working on decorating this place, I, I don't know, I just started like putting plants on it and I really liked it. I, at first I have like a bunch of plants propagating up there. I have a couple there that are still propagating now, um, but a lot of those I have put into soil so they're doing a lot better. Uh, I have this Christmas cactus here that I've just recently repotted in this pink bucket. Um, got that from the same place that I got the metal thing in the plant stand um, in Waco, Texas. Then we have, I'm not really sure, I think this is the Calathea medallion. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this plant is doing better. It has a new leaf that is about to grow out. Really excited about that. Uh, this is an arrowhead plant uh, in a coffee mug that I had. I had two of those mugs and I just thought they were really cute. Um, vintage like camera stuff that my Nana gave to me and then I have an umbrella plant here and then um, I'm trying to remember if this is like a philodendron or something. Plants. I love plants. They are everywhere. Um, so I'm hoping to like have this tree look better. I feel like it would look so much prettier if it was like doing better, but this is what we got going on right now. This is also where I like hide my internet um, modem thing. It's behind the blanket and then there's cords here. This cord is for an extension cord to go to this lamp over here because there wasn't really room to put a lamp on the other side and plus I wanted more light in the middle of the living room. So this lamp is plugged in over there so i'll go ahead and tell you about this real quick so this table is from ikea uh, i initially got two of them because i thought i was going to have enough room to put one on the other side of the couch but i don't and that's fine i have one here and then i have one in the bedroom that i'm using as my nightstand for right now uh, this lamp i got from wayfair i got a ton of stuff from wayfair so i'll just i guess i'll try to like link things below if you're interested in the things that i got um, this picture frame I've had forever. I'm pretty sure I got it at Home Goods, um, but it's a picture of Bailey when she was a little baby girl. I think that was like the third day I had her or something like that. Um, so that's the only like picture I have of anything in my family. So, and I probably should get more, but honestly, I don't know where I would put them. I don't have that much surface area to like put pictures and whatnot. Um, and then these books here, I have a lot of um, like furniture, wood finish books, and then a bunch of magazines. Um, they're all like Better Homes and Gardens, you know, anything home decor -y because I'm, I don't know if y'all know, I really wanted to go to a school to be an interior designer. Didn't end up doing that. Everything's fine. We're good. Over here, we have the dining room table and chairs. All of those things I did get from Wayfair. I have three plants in this room. Um, I have this weird cactus plant that I just got a few days ago. I just thought it looked so weird and so funky. I had to have it. Uh, I have another Hoya plant over here. Um, and then another fiddle leaf fig. This one's also not doing super great, but it's doing better than the other one over there. Oh my gosh, the other one is so sad. Um, these placemats, I really like these. These were like super cheap. I think I got them from Walmart, but I don't know if you'll notice, but the theme in my apartment is I really like this color pink, gold, black, wood tones, and then the color blue that you'll see in my entire kitchen. Um, I just, those are my colors, that's how I roll. So then I also, I'm, I'm not really sure what I wanna put there, but for now there is a burlap bag that is probably one of the most, I don't wanna say unique, but I don't see this burlap bag very often. Plus it also had the blue color, which I really liked. So, that went on my wall. Um, I feel like eventually I would love to put like a wall mounted plant stand. I feel like that would look really nice and plus it gets a lot of direct sun from the window. 
over here I think it would be nice like smaller potted plants I saw something on Wayfair that looked like it would be really pretty and it also had gold in it so I was really excited um this closet I'm definitely not gonna open it is my coat closet but it has like Bailey's food not exciting not really that organized but it does look better than it did because I did clean out um, there were a bunch of boxes in there and I got this all cleaned out um, just real quick I have this used to be right here in this area but it was starting to look a little crowded so I moved it over here I don't really open this door very often so um, and I wanted a place to put this plant and it just kind of helps fill this corner right here um, but this is a longer burger basket that uh, my mom gave me she probably has had it for a really long time but that's that nothing too exciting but yeah so now I guess we'll go move into the kitchen um I don't mind it so much um I have modified some things obviously you can see that I've taken the cabinet doors off of the top cabinets on this side um that was because the doors are so big and like long they would come out really far like in the area that I was walking and so like if I forgot to close it I would literally bang my head and that was kind of getting old and then I was also watching other YouTube videos on how to live in a smaller space and they were talking about removing the cabinet doors to help make your space feel more spacious so and plus I also really like the way my dishes look so I, I'm able to help make my space look a little bit larger while also showing off my dishes that I love. So that's what's going on here. Um, not a big deal, have an automatic trash can. I'm not even gonna open it because it's so full right now, I need to take it out. Uh, this is where Opie lives, my, um, my beta fish. He hangs out here. Yes, I'm planning on getting like new rocks so it matches the kitchen a little bit better. We got Bailey's treats here, a cutting board, my vitamins that I'm <laughs> trying to take every day but it's hard for me to remember, grocery list, coffee pot. Um, I'm in the middle of making myself another cup of coffee. Um, and then I also have like my milk frother here and sugar, which is actually kind of funny that I have this here. This is purely here for decor. I have been eating keto for almost a year now and so I don't eat sugar and I guess this is for decor and also like if anyone else comes over and they want to have some coffee they can have regular sugar instead of what I use so anyway um, this is like a little spoon thing to hold my spoon for my coffee um, Nothing too exciting, but the junk drawer here has just like a bunch of like miscellaneous things and obese food. This drawer I do like a little bit more. Um, it's pretty organized. I have like tea stuff here, and this is like, I guess, bottle openers, wine uh, corks, and my silverware, also gold, had to have that, um, and just like some scissors. Over here, I mean, I have two bud vases or like propagating vases. They're kind of drying right now. Um, microwave also got from Marketplace. I think I spent like $30 on it. It's like practically brand new. This scale got from Michael's, I'm sure. Um, this is from Thailand. I kind of like having my Thailand stuff just kind of sprinkled throughout my space um, because I do like to travel, but that's like one of the only cool places I've ever been. So it's just kind of all over the place. Um, continuing with the gold theme, um, it's kind of like not super noticeable, but um, that is from Target. Let's talk about what I have up here coffee mugs. I have so, so, so many coffee mugs. It is ridiculous. I cannot hold myself back from buying coffee mugs. If they are gold, if they are pink, if they are this blue color, if they have flowers on them, if they have hearts on them, I am getting it. Like there is no question about it. I love it. I need more. I even have more stored down here. These are just the ones that I use all the time and I think they're pretty. Yeah, I love it. But let's move on. Um, I have these cool, like, iridescent, stimulus wine glasses. I got those at Home Goods. Um, just some regular, like, water glasses. More 
um, stemless wine glasses, my pale pink dishes that I got from Ikea, and then some just like plain white dishes that I got from Ikea, some little ramekins, I use those for like condiments. And over here is like my pantry side. I, I feel like it looks like I don't really eat that much stuff, but I guess I really don't. Um, but I have like a tea kettle here that I use for warming up water for tea. Um, this is a set of mixing bowls. There's like five bowls in there um, from Sir La Tabla that I got for Christmas one year. Love those. Um, baking stuff, pork rinds, just more food storage. I tried to, I'm trying to get more jars like this. So I don't know, I just think it looks really nice. And I also wanna get a different label maker because the one that I have, I don't know, like it labels things, but I just don't really care for the way that it looks. I wish it was black print with like white writing on it. So I'm eventually gonna get one of those and be able to like put labels on those and they will look really nice. Um, real quick over here, I have this piece of art. Um, this is a photograph that was actually taken by my dad and he framed it for me. And um, this is like one of my favorite pieces that he's ever done. So wherever I move, I always have to have this one with me. This rug, I freaking love this rug. I got this at a Greek festival when I was with my best friend back in Texas. Um, for a long time, I didn't know what to do with it, uh, but finally decided to put it in the kitchen and I think it just kind of adds like a little something to the floor. Um, we have Bailey's Ray Dunn dog bowls that I got at Home Goods. Obviously, they match the color scheme. Um, up here, we have just some like display thing right here. I don't really use those bowls, and it has like a lemon um, juicer thing in there as well. I also have my instant pot up here, and then kombucha. I am brewing kombucha. It is hanging out right there. I've been brewing kombucha for over a year now and this is actually a really good spot for it because when the, the light is off it's really dark in here and kombucha likes to be in a dark area. And then over here is like my favorite area probably because of this guy. I mean I love my kitchen mixer so much. I think it is so beautiful. Um, and plus it is my favorite color as well as everything else over here. Um, these are just like some measuring cups, all my utensils. I have a ton of KitchenAid utensils that are this color. Um, this cool colander that has like little pineapples on it. Also the color, which is what my mom and I call it. It's really funny. I, think I just really like that there's a lot of this color over here. You know, this is also where I store my oven mitts. I have like a lot of little tea towels everywhere. Um, I don't really use like the ones that I think are pretty. Uh, I just like having things on the cabinets. Like my mom always had towels on the cabinet. So like, I don't know, that's just what I'm used to. Uh, these drawers are somewhat organized. Um, I have two like little organizer things in here. Um, those I actually got from the Dollar Tree and you can see I have more like utensils that have that color. I can't get enough. And then this one also pretty organized. Oops, this is supposed to be right here. Um, more gold, more of this color blue. Um, I don't know, I've been getting a lot of my organizing stuff from the Dollar Tree and so far it's working out really well and it doesn't look super cheap to me, which is ideal for me for sure. This is probably the only cabinet I would want to show um, on this side of the kitchen. Granted, <laughs> there's only four, but um, I have started uh, putting my spices in glass jars and labeling them. I still want to like spray paint the tops of these lids because you can tell they're obviously old artichoke jars but I'm still working on that. But, um, you know, I really like when everything looks pretty uniform and that's where I'm going with this. And I think it looks good so far. Um, you know, another organizing thing. I mean, I'll just peek in here and see what's in here. 
stuff for kombucha, tea, coffee, hot sauce, like nothing exciting, but not super organized, but not super disorganized. I don't know. Makes this part of the kitchen exciting for me, I guess, uh, that I also love is this that I put up here. This is all of my cookbooks. I have a few vintage cookbooks that I've gotten at like thrift stores. And then I have a keto instant pot cookbook that my mom just gave to me, a bacon cookbook and Julia Child's cookbook. So I don't know. I just like the way this looks. Um, it's definitely not everyone's style and I totally get that, but um, I don't know. I just like putting things on top of my cabinets. Uh, I don't know. I just have like a random assortment of things just to kind of like fill the space up there because I feel like it looks blank if you don't have anything. All right. So continue on done with the kitchen. Let's talk about this guy. This guy is, um, an old safe box. Um, let me see. I'm pretty sure you can see the number on top here. Yes. Um, I got this at like one of those repurpose stores, which I honestly would love to own one day, but they actually had it displayed exactly like this on the wall and I loved it. So um, whenever I bought it, this was my plan. I attached it um, to the wall using picture um, command hooks. And I mean, it sticks out quite a bit from the wall, but I've kind of learned to go around it. I'm planning on putting a white flower in here that I'm probably gonna get from like Michaels or like the dollar store or something. I did have a pink flower in there, but I honestly learned to hate it. Um, it didn't really go with the color green that this is, but anyway, I just thought it was kind of cool. It's one of my weird things that I have in my place and I love having it on my wall. Then we just have your basic linen closet. Nothing exciting, but you know, it's got to stay somewhat organized, have candles, sheets, towels, more sheets, towels, blankets, more pillows, Bailey's bed, crate. Like I said, nothing exciting. Um, then over here, woo, running into the safe box. Anyway, never done that before, but it's probably just because I'm trying to get this angle right here. Um, I made this bath sign probably, I don't know, five years ago, maybe more, um, on a piece of reclaimed wood. I've had it forever. I love it. It works. It lets people know where the bathroom is because obviously they're going to have a hard time finding it because my apartment is so big. <laughs> just kidding, obviously. Um, so this is my bathroom. Once again, still continued with the girly vibe. This shower curtain I got on clearance at Target actually, and I just thought it was really cute. I wanted something with like ruffles on it, but um, I found this one and I liked it just as much. And it's, I don't know, it just has like this little like textured thing on it. And um, I like that it stripes, looks good. Um, still continuing with the gold. These I got on Amazon. The colors in here are just like pink, white, and gold. So rug, Target, towels, Target. This rug, it's kind of like a natural color. Got this from Ikea. I just recently washed it. So that's why it's like all wrinkled and it doesn't look super cute, but whatever. Um, this is the other picture I was talking about from the living room that came in the set with the other two. Um, all of my frames like this are hung up with the command picture um, Velcro-y things. Love those. Had to put another command strip here because there was no place for me to put my hand towel and this just works. Um, now over here, I feel like it looks a little cluttered right now, but it's fine. Um, this dish is for like rings, whatever. I got that as a gift from my stepmom. We got like Q-tips in here, hand soap. Sadly, this took me forever to find. I needed, a, well, I wanted a gold hand soap dispenser. Hard to come by, just in case you're looking for one. I found it at Home Goods. There was only one. I don't know if everyone's buying them or what, but this one took forever to find, but I think it's really pretty. It kind of has like a, I don't know. It's, I just think it's pretty. 
anyway, um, this thing holds my cotton rounds and that I've had forever. Um, I wish it was gold though. It has like gray silver on it, whatever. Um, makeup remover, lotion, my Quip here, um, toothpaste that's in a mason jar because I didn't just want it sitting on the counter. This letter board. I don't know. I was looking at bathroom things and I just bought this because it was pink and then it's small so then I decided to put it here in the bathroom. And I just feel like this quote is perfect. And yes, we have spray. And Bailey has decided to join us in the bathroom. Well, Bailey, we're about to go into the bedroom and we're gonna show them that. Cause that's so much more exciting than this bathroom. All right, so let's go, come on. Let's go show them. Go, this way. No, this way. Right here, up, get up on the bed. Up, up, come on. There we go, good girl. All right, so in here, oh, this is such a cute shot. Hold on, let me take a picture real quick. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, um, bedroom. I've changed quite a few things in here. Well, at least I think I did. Um, I got, so this is like one of those bed frames that you don't need to have a box spring for. It's got a platform on it, so you can put a lot more things under the bed, which obviously since I live in a small apartment, I need as much storage as I can. Um, so I just have like tons and tons of like empty boxes down there that, you know, hold like my trash can, you know, stuff like that. Um, the bed skirt I got from Amazon. I think I got it super cheap because it was like on an Amazon day deal or something. Um, the duvet cover. I got for Christmas from my grandma, but it is from Target. Um, I actually don't think that they sell this one anymore, but um, I really like the style of this one. This I have two um, duvet covers, but this one's my favorite because it is pink and it is floral and it looks vintage and I love it. Um, two more mohair pillows that I got from at home. Um, these two pillows right here, they're both from Target. I just love pillows. They're freaking everywhere. Um, this headboard, super simple, actually matches my couch. It was sort of unintentional that they are pretty much the same color, but um, that I got at, at home. I think it was like less than $200. So it's great. I love it. There's actually a super practical reason why I have an upholstered headboard. It's because um, I push myself up and like I hit my head on the um, the whatever's like behind my head. So just in case you're anyone who does stuff like that in their sleep, um, get an upholstered headboard and you should be good. It's a lot more comfortable and it doesn't wake me up when I hit my head either against the wall or like a metal or wood frame. I just I love this one. Plus it just looks nice. I like tufted things, obviously. I have the exact same table that I had in the living room. Um, this is, I'm not sure, but it's some kind of vine. I just planted it in here. Um, but this is just like what I'm using as my nightstand, you know, medication, water, coaster, the real deal. Now over here, um, yes, there were closet doors here. I did take them off because I just think it makes my space feel so much bigger. Um, obviously this is not a very large room and um, they were like the folding doors and whenever you open them they would come into the room and it was, I don't know, it just made it kind of tight. My bed was further pushed this way. Um, but since I decided to remove the doors, I decided I could move the bed closer to the, um, the closet and have this so this won't get hit by the closet door anymore. Um, but it still feels somewhat spacious. The only space it feels kind of tight is literally right here. But like once I get past that and get into here, it just feels a lot more spacious. So I don't know. I did this also when I was in high school. Um, I remember taking my closet doors off. I don't know, I like looking at my clothes all the time, I guess. So here they are. 
Uh, I try to be pretty organized with my clothes. Um, I do color coordinate everything. Like everything is goes from like white and then rainbow into black. Um, as you can see, I have a ton of black, a ton of gray, a ton of white, not so much of regular colors. That's just me, whatever, everything's fine. Um, I have another Hoya plant hanging on the wall here. Um, and then I also have, this is an over the, sh over the door shoe rack thing. Um, sad, funny story with this guy. Um, I tried to hang it up on the wall with command hooks. No command hooks could handle the weight of my shoes. So sadly, I ended up having to put nails in the wall, but I love the way this looks. It looks super organized. Um, all of my shoes are in one place. They're not taking up room on the floor here. I just have one pair of shoes on the floor here, but it doesn't bother me. So love the way this looks. If you have the space for it, I think this is a really good idea. Um, just shoes. I really want to get like a shoe rack thing to kind of utilize this space here and have this look a little more organized. Not that this looks disorganized. I just think it looks kind of sloppy. Um, random flowers that I put in a boot. Everything's fine. Uh, fanny packs and hats. I can never have too many fanny packs. I think there's like five in there. I love fanny packs. Um, then we have, um, this laundry basket right here. I got this at home goods. Um, surprise, surprise. It kind of goes with my, I don't know, aesthetic farmhousey vibe. Um, that, so that is my laundry basket. Yes. I hauled it up all the way downstairs for laundry and then bring it back up. It's not that heavy, but it is metal, like actual metal really like it and then I have um, one I, one of my prettier suitcases back there one thing that I really liked about this apartment was how much closet space it had so there's the closet that I'm actually standing in right now and then two more here um, I don't have that many clothes but like I do have enough clothes that the closet that I wasn't using in my last place I could not fit all my clothes so this is um like all of my clothes that I would wear like in the spring, summer, and fall time. And then I have like sweaters and stuff like there that I'd wear probably in the fall and the winter. Um, this closet's not super organized right now, but I do have some stuff going on. So like boots up here, sweaters. Um, I just have like underwear and like socks in there because I don't have a dresser in here. Um, I felt like with my desk, it would have been way too crowded. So, um, and obviously for me, having a makeup area is much more important to me than having like a cute little dresser. So I, I just need space for all my makeup. There's no shame. This closet um, is basically just used for big box storage. Um, I have like the box for my facial steamer in here, TV box, the closet doors from over there. Um, yeah, like, and then there's also, um, the AC unit in here, so I can't really put too much in here anyway, but once again, not very exciting. So this is the area that I was talking about where I want to put a plant stand because like I'm literally never going to open this door because that's where the AC unit is. So I would love to put like a plant stand or something that, you know, I can put multiple plants on or if I could get my hands on a decently sized rubber tree, which is what I really want, I would love to put it right there. All right, and this is where I'm gonna conclude everything. Um, I'm not gonna spend too much time discussing about where I got everything over here. I mean, I'll just vaguely tell you, I got this um, knockoff Rascog, which I know is an Ikea knockoff, whatever. My mom got this for me because she stole my original Rascog that was this color. Um, but this one's from Michaels. Um, I tried to have it somewhat organized. It's a little, it's fine, but there is like an acrylic thing in here that helps organize like all my primers and foundations and hair stuff and miscellaneous things. Um, this chair was given to me by my grandma. Um, she's had it forever, so I have no idea where it's from. Um, this desk is from Amazon. It's kind of like an industrial type desk. 
Um, but, and it came with like black knobs and obviously you guys know I'm a lot more girlier than some black knobs. So I had to get these cute, um, little like crystal looking, although they're plastic, um, knobs. So they just look a lot more girly than the knobs that were there before. Um, but it's actually really nice. There was only three that I needed and I got them on clearance um, at TJ Maxx because there was only three in a pack there was supposed to be four. So worked out great for me because I only needed three. Uh, I don't have this mirror hanging on the wall because it is so freaking heavy uh, and I don't really actually use it that much. I use this mirror way more. So I just use this one to basically to see my makeup from like more afar I guess um that I got it like a garage sale it was brown I spray painted it like an off-white forever ago gosh I must have been like 18 when I had it um so you know just like some acrylic makeup organizers um the thing I have my palettes in is actually like um a little file organizer I don't know it just, it utilizes the space really well, holds my palettes that I use the most, um, which is just my, I don't even really use my James Charles palette that much anymore, but, um, you know, I have the OG Jaclyn Hill palette, and then this is the, um, 35OM palette from Morphe. Uh, the things that I hold all my freaking makeup brushes in, I got that at TJ Maxx. They're just kind of like these fake marble looking things, my perfume collection. This is where like I charge my phone and my Apple Watch. Um, this is like a little stand for your iPhone or I guess you could use it for any phone, but um, pink obviously to go with my pink theme. Um, that works so great. I love it. If you don't have one, you should definitely consider getting one because they're only like, I don't know, $7. It's metal. So like it doesn't bend or break or anything. So I really like it. I highly recommend. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is this wall hanging that I made a few years ago. Um, I've, it's made it through a couple moves and it used to have a stick right here that like, you know, went out a little bit more, looked a little bit more even, but it's broken over time. Everything's fine. This is supposed to be down a little bit, but anyway, I think it's pretty, um, you know, I did make it so I'm like, a little proud of it, I guess, but you know, trash can down there and bandana storage, which if you've seen my bandana video, I'm kind of slacking a little bit. You can see I have a couple of bandanas that I need to fold up. Everything's fine. So that completes my apartment tour. Uh, if you have any questions, like feel free to leave a comment. Uh, if you want to know where something is from or you need a link for something, just let me know. I am going to try to link a few things in the, um, like in the description bar. So that way, like, I don't know, if you freaking love my couch, you'll know exactly how to get the exact same one <laughs> because I have had a few people ask about my couch. I love my couch. It's really comfortable and I think it's worth it. It's, I think I got it for less than a grand. Yeah, I used a coupon too, which is key to everything. I feel like every time I'm recording myself and I look at the playback, my eyes are like, it looks like I'm high or something, which I'm not. <laughs> but <laughs> um, if you made it all the way through this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you could also subscribe to my channel, I have gained a lot more followers in the last year, um, even though I haven't really posted that much. So thank you if you're a new subscriber, um, but I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.